Hello Internet, I am Grace and I have an OkCupid account. And you know, there's nothing wrong with having an OkCupid account. Except for the fact that people are weird. They are so weird. And I don't mean it in like an endearing way, I mean it in a what's wrong with you way. So I decided to do a dramatic reading of some of the most ridiculous messages I've gotten so far. Hey. Okay, so I'm just going to be straightforward with you here so I don't waste any of your valuable time. First off, I just have to say that you're absolutely gorgeous. However, I'm sure you hear that all the time on here. So anyways, basically what I'm trying to say is that I was checking you out and am obviously attracted to you. I'm really interested in finding a friends with benefits type of thing and was thinking that we could have a lot of fun together. That's your first message. Seems about right. Hey, how are you? I honestly believe that any guy who gets to know you should leave this dating website because knowing you is more than enough. I am one of them. All right, just like going strong right off the bat. Cool, dude. Yeah. You know what's funny? People don't date anymore. They hang out. Even though that's the case, I would like to get to know you and take you on a date, so get ready to call me. Well, aren't you presumptuous? You just assume that I'm gonna call you when I don't know you, you don't know me. I may not lay you down on a bed of roses like fantasies do. I may not be your knight in shining armor like whoever he is. I may not be the most handsome guy like David Beckham. I may not be the most intellectual person like Einstein, but I can love you like Romeo does to his beloved Juliet. I really like you. Is there a chance? I may or may not have then went on a rant about how Romeo and Juliet is not a love story and they all die because they're stupid teenagers. It's cool that you're a twin. I'm an identical twin myself. I'm looking for a younger girl to spoil. Have you had a sugar daddy before? No, I haven't but I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I didn't genuinely consider the offer. Don't hate me, but I think you're kind of funny. Also, what does that Latin on your arm mean? It's Latin, right? I'm not evil, I swear. I'm sweet and tangy like a fruit salad. Scout's honor, lol. We should converse, I think. Check out some of our questions. I'm not the worst kind of guy. If you have to assure me that you're not evil in your first message, I'm just gonna assume that I will end up in the trunk of your car if we ever do meet. It's unfair that we are both cute and we don't talk to each other. Hello. Yes, thank you, I am very cute. But you didn't even give me an option to decide whether or not I thought you were cute. You just kind of assumed I would. You could learn a lot from an old man. That's it. That's the extent of that message. I believe in gender equality, but I don't identify as a feminist. I know the definition is literally gender equality. I just don't want to be associated with certain elements like the Ban Bossy campaign and some of the feminists who are taking over skeptics conference. I've gotten some shit for that. Do you have a problem with that? If so, elaborate. I'm not even going to dignify that one with a response. My little sister just kicked me in the balls. Damn it. LOL. Okay, Cupid is a really weird place. Okay, this has been a video. I hope you enjoyed my dramatic reading of the weird fucking messages I get. Being a girl on a dating website, it's just like, I don't even know, it's difficult. Also, my roommate's probably gonna kill me because she hates when I film and or take selfies and her side of the room is messy, but like, she can deal with it. All right, I love you guys. I will see you whenever with another video. Have a good day, folks. Yeah, alright, bye.